Solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable variables on both sides of the and distribution, we're asked to solve for v, and we do have v's on both sides, and it says distribution is part of this, and actually that's our beginning point because I would like for that set of parentheses to go away right off the bat. So we're going to distribute that negative 4 so that we can get rid of those parentheses. So on the left hand side I'm just going to bring everything down. 9v plus 28 equals distributing the negative 4, negative 4 times v, negative 4v, and negative 4 times 6, negative 24. So no more parentheses, we've used the strip distribution to get rid of that, but now we have V's on both sides, and I would like to get my V's together and get the terms that do not have V's on the opposite side. So I'm going to move the negative 4V from the right over to the left. We usually like to move the smaller one, although technically it'll work either way. So I'm going to do the opposite, I'm going to add 4V. But the only way I can do that to the left hand side of the equation is if I also do that to the right hand side. And on the left, we're going to have to add, but on the right, the v's cancel, minus 4v plus 4v. Adding on the left gives us a 13v plus 28 equals a negative 24, just bringing that down. And so now I've got the V's on one side, that's good, but I got to get the V's by themselves. So I need to get rid of the plus 28. And I can do that by doing the opposite and subtracting 28. That will move that term over to the other side. Again, I got to do it to both sides. On the left, they cancel, leaving me with just 13 V equals on the right hand side they're both negative so I'm gonna to have to add and keep the sign and I get negative 52 so the last step is to get the V by itself undo multiplication with division so I want to divide by 13 I have to do it to both sides divide by 13 on the left those cancel giving me just V and on the right hand side negative 52 divided by 13 gives me a negative 4 so we have solved for V and we can check it if we plug it back in for V here and here we should get a true statement